For fast, cheap, and reliable NBA 2K19MT, visit the link down below in the description and use code MASSIVE for 5% off all orders. So welcome back to another My League Rebuild here on NBA 2K19. In today's video, we are going to be doing just a normal Celtics rebuild. It's been a minute since I've done one of these. The Celtics absolutely fucking suck, and it is so annoying because they're supposed to be so good this year. Probably going to end as a 5C in the East this year. Maybe 4, just give them that home court advantage against the Pacers probably not going to happen but we're going to rebuild the shit out of this team today not sure how many of these guys are going to be staying Kyrie, if he doesn't go sign with somebody he's going to be staying here same goes with jason tatum i mean I, he's obviously not going to go sign somewhere but you know what i mean unless i get a crazy trade offer he will not be moved as well but everybody else is pretty much free to go oh god i'm not even going to discuss it right now uh jalen brown little bit of a disappointing year this year I think he had a really good sophomore year, and then it's kind of just like a junior slump, I guess. I don't know. Normally, you have sophomore slumps, and he, he was definitely should have been at least considered to be a candidate for most improved, but then again, kind of going from rookie to sophomore, you know what I mean? Uh, also, I'm sorry it's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. Very, very busy weekend last weekend, and hopefully we're back on that grind now. So let's just get hop into this video. I believe start today is fixed. If it's not, you will never see this video, so not really a big point there. We're going to head up to staff signing. Brad Stevens is obviously not getting fired. Uh, Jamie Young, uh, Peterson has better rate. Nope, nope. Uh, fire, you're good, and you're fired. So, give me Randy Martin, give me Peterson, and assistant GM will just go on Masters. So, that's going to be the staff for now. Uh, we get all of them. It's probably the best front office and coaching staff in the NBA at this point, just ratings-wise. So, let's head up to the draft. We end up with the sixth pick from the Grizzlies. Okay, it looks like we kind of did something good there. 12 from the Timberwolves. The holy fucking shit. We have five first-round picks. You know what? You know what I'm going to do? Because I want this team to go above and beyond. Welcome to the team, Zion Williamson. We're going to be taking him number one overall because why not? And I'll see you guys at Rookie Signings. So I was slowly realizing, yeah, I probably could have traded less to get the number one overall pick, but I don't want a bunch of 72 overalls riding my bench. I mean, I'm, I can just rebuild too easily for that to happen. So Horford comes back on that option. So does Baines probably gonna end up moving at least probably well, definitely baines i don't really need him uh yabu selly and ojale i'm also going to move robert williams i wish like i could have sent him to the julie or something whereas overall just would have gone up a lot and then maybe he could be a backup for me but probably not going to happen at this point so first round pick in alzi johnson sure I, I i don't really need you on the roster i'm definitely going to try to move hayward at some point as well it's unfortunate to say i know it we all nobody wanted it to happen the way it did but happens two second round picks from the bucks i will take and now we're going to probably work on maybe packaging like jalen brown and gordon hayward in some sort of deal that would allow me to get i don't know i'm trying to think like i don't want to take on a lot of money 32 million is a lot of goddamn money so these two and the pacers lottery protected pick next year what are my options let me just see zach levine i would low-key really enjoy getting buddy healed same goes with him donkey i see um levine is kind of nice we also have to get auto porter jr though is there any way i could potentially do this with like this they want jalen you're not getting jalen brown for auto porter there's just just not happening J no it's, take no take a hint please i would actually also throw you robert okay i'll throw you robert williams as well just because i know he's really never going to get into my rotation which is it's unfortunate but i think honestly this will put the trade over the top so gordon hayward a first two or three seconds and Robert Williams for Zach Levine and seriously all right well let me throw in my first next year my first next year is not going to be good I mean we're gonna sign somebody we're gonna get this are you fucking kidding me at this point I'm not giving you Jalen Brown in Gordon Hayward for Zach will I do this you know what I'll do it I'll do it I know I was just so against it for like two seconds um I should realize I don't have to keep Otto Porter and Jalen Brown does not progress that well in this game anymore uh Montrezel, Ma, no, no no excuse me montrez harrell there we go oh red dead up it's all an update it's always good to see people are yelling at me because there's no l in his name well there is you just don't pronounce it so montrez harrell excuse me or all you anal bitches of america so l horford i'm gonna move down to power forward at this point goes up to an 87 um i love him in real life he's a really underrated player but he doesn't put up stats in this game and i always look for guys that could put up good stats larry marketing could be an option i don't really need him i kind of need a center at this point um, and I know you're just going to say, oh, Al Horford could play center. I am not paying him $30 million. I'm just, I'm just not going to do it. Uh, Jarrett Allen could be an option. Devin Booker. 
I just got Levine. But Devin Booker legit just put up like how many points the other night? Okay. We also have to give up Marcus Smart here, which is unfortunate for Tyler Johnson. Is there any way I could do this straight up? Okay. I'll throw you Robert Williams. Let me get him. Robert Williams and my first. Second, they want what? Okay, sure. Welcome to the team, Devin Booker. This does let them give me space to trade Levine at this point. Um, we're pretty much all set. I mean, I do need a point guard, but I'm going to re-sign Kyrie. So I'll keep Levine for now. Qualifying Rozier, yeah. And Tyus will also give it to Wanamaker. Not needed anymore, really, at this point. So this team is not going to look a lot like it does right now. So can't quite afford Kawhi. We do have $20 million in cap space. It's pretty much all going to be spent on Kyrie. Maxed out deal. Player option, no trade clause. If he doesn't accept it, I'm going to jump through a building. Okay, there we go. We're going to get him back. Anybody else here I desperately need? Uh, Marcus Morris would be a nice sign and trade piece, or if not, worse comes to worse, he can be a good bench piece for us. So definitely somebody I also want to bring back. Um, Rozier, um, iffy on. He wants like 11 mil a year. I'll give it to him for now and probably end up moving him. Uh, I'm going to renounce the rights pretty much on everybody here. And that's good. So... I, if I get those guys back, I get them back. But I'm definitely getting Kyrie back. That's obviously the most important one. So Kyrie Irving, welcome back to the team. So one, two. Oh, we still have Smart. I forgot about that. Okay. Um, I think at this point, trading Levine. And I'm going to sign another free agent for a center would be the best option. So, hmm. I think out of everybody here, Tyreek Evans is definitely going to have the most trade value. So if I can sign him. So Levine, I'm just trying to think of centers I can get. Um, I'll go to player finder if I can't find anything better. I do want to keep Booker though. So Levine, where is he? Tyreek Evans and not the Suns pick. We will do my or the Bucks in 2023. Uh, some sort of center. Oh, that's a center. Rudy Gobert is 1,000% qualifies. Oh, DeAndre Ayton. That low key could be interesting. What kind of numbers did he put up last year? 16 and 10. You know, I haven't gotten DeAndre Ayton in a minute. He's also not making a lot of money. We're going to do this trade. We also get Tyler Johnson's overpaid ass. I'm not going to be keeping that on the team because um, I'm good enough with Rozier, who's getting paid a ton of money. Who pays Tyler Johnson? Like, what? I mean, for the love of God. Like, let's just have, like, some common sense for, like, two seconds. Who would ever pay him that much money? I know you're going to say, oh, yeah, the one year where all the contracts were huge. I know, but still, just think. Just for two seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll see you guys at the start of season number one of the rotation. So this is going to be the rotation for the first year. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, not the best defensive backcourt, but both very, very good guards. Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, DeAndre Ayton. Uh, the shooting in the front court is a little touchy, but we got a couple flaws, but I think it'll all work out in the end. Uh, off the bench, Montez Harrell, Marcus Smart, Marcus Morris Sr., and Terry Rozier. Pretty high hopes for this team. Looks absolutely nothing like the Celtics do in real life right now. Uh, but yeah, probably a lot better, and I'll see you guys at the end of the first year. So end of season number one, we go 67 and 15. Harden MVP Zion does win Rookie of the Year for us. Schroeder, six-man Giannis, Marvin Bagley, and Brad Stevens does get Coach of the Year. I'm slowly realizing through the season that we very well could end up having like three Suns players because we got Booker, Aiden, and then chances of Zion becomes a Sun are potentially very high. So... Interesting enough, Kyrie let us in score, and then it was Booker, Zion, Tatum, Aiden. We scored a lot of points. I'll take rebounds was Aiden. He's up to an 88 overall. Gobert was an 89, and he makes a ton more money, so I really can't complain. We're the best offensive and best defensive team. Mathematically, we should be winning the championship, like, no matter what, but... This game sometimes gets a little bit messed up. So Wizards in the first round, we end up getting by them in four games. I am so thankful they fixed start today, because I could not keep doing, like off-season rebuilds and what if and all that fun non-fun stuff so also i'm gonna need some video ideas just because i can't just keep titling videos the celtics suck so let's rebuild them um but i will if if i have to but we're taking on the brooklyn nets here in the east finals it's gonna be houston and okc over there in the west we end up getting by the brooklyn nets in five games and it's going to be us and the rockets in the nba finals so let's check out this rockets team they are working with um, where, nope, dyslexia, Harden, Paul, Capella, Fareed's your fourth best player, I don't even want to hear it, I mean, James Harden's way better than anybody on this team, but, come on, 2-1, we're down, 2-2, two, two. make it a series, please, I'm going for the three-peat, I'm going for the three-peat, let's go, we win four straight, and Kyrie Irving balls out and wins finals MVP, so, pretty much only option at this point is to go for the three-peat, so, I think, yeah, Jordan Malone, I'd like to sign you. Um, our trainer's still at an A, so I have those three on Tapitano's. Also, for those of you who say, why doesn't he use training camps? I do. I just don't show you because it's literally the dumbest thing to show ever. Two fir or two picks in this year's draft. One first, one second. Um, 
sure. I'll take two future seconds. I mean, the 30th pick basically is... Oh my, I can't wait to have this argument. The 30th pick is basically a second round pick, and the 31st pick is basically a first round pick, says every asshole ever. No, it's not, but... Y'all know what I mean. Also, I know if he moves on to small forward, he goes up to three overalls. Jesus Christ. I mean, people like to act like I don't ever play this game. It's it's not. Tory Craig will not be getting qualifying. He's 29. I did not know that. I thought he was way younger. Uh, moratorium phase. I don't really think there's much we have to do here. Harrell is definitely somebody I do want to re-sign. Obviously, a key bench piece there. And everybody else is free to go. So, Harrell's back on the team. I'm probably going to look to get a better backup point guard than Rozier. Uh, wasn't really feeling him last year, not going to lie. So let's look, put up Scary Terry, and let's also do two seconds. Then maybe look to do the same thing with Morris, just because, I don't know, he's getting a little bit old for me, honestly. Um, you know what I'm actually going to do? I'm actually going to take this trade. Where did it go? Um, yeah, Justice Winslow we're actually going to take on this team. He's going to be my backup small forward slash power forward slash whatever you want to call it. Honestly, he's going to be the backup point guard, too. And then we're going to move on from Marcus Morris Sr., who, I don't know, I'm just not really feeling anymore. A small 40 goes up one overall, and we're going to get some sort of point guard for him. So we'll do him. Um, we'll do a first here in a second. And we will trade that for... Whoa. You can get John Collins? Okay. Uh, I do need a point guard. Unfortunately, pretty much nobody here is a point guard. Um, player finder? Okay. Realistically, let me scroll down a lot, because it's not going to be a very high... Brad Wanamaker is an 80? He, what? He was a 71 when I let him... I don't know. Sometimes this game and me just don't see eye to eye. And it just... Marcus Morris for Dennis Schroeder. Celtics would acquire 3 million more. And I have no money to give you. So that's not going to be happening. Um, How much money did I give him? Monte Morris. Darren Collison's fat. Uh, Sexton Loki. If I... If it like... Uh, Cavs would acquire a million more. How are the Cavs in, like, this bad of a cap situation? And I'll give you... No, I can't give you that. <laughs> and I'll give you these first-round picks. This is probably not going to go through. Um, It's worth a try, though. Yeah, didn't think so. Uh, Cole Anthony could be an option. Beverly... Okay, I'm just kind of getting bad at this point. Uh, Chris Dunn's a free agent, of course. All right, you know what? I'll do the trade at the start of next year. I do send guys on tap potential, and I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. So we're going to try to do this trade with the Nets, sending the Marcus Morris Sr. for Spencer Dinwiddie. I highly doubt this is going to go through. If I could do this with just seconds, it would be much appreciated. Will that happen? Probably not, but we're going to sure as hell give it a try, and I don't think it's going to work at this point. So take a first, take two first, and let's just get this over I, I, can I reasonably give up three first-round picks for Spencer Dinwiddie? I legitimately don't think so. They want Harold. You're not getting Harold. Deontay Murray I'm making $20 million. Oh, this game sometimes. You know what? Moutier. I would take Moutier. Kind of a bust, low-key. You're what? We're not getting enough back for what we're giving up. You're giving up... Oh, that's per 36. I was like, what the hell? Still 15 points for him. is not bad. What did that say? Too thin at point guard. Just keep taking my seconds. Just keep taking my seconds. And I'll give you one more second. And I'll give you a first. If it doesn't go through after this, that's this is ridiculous. Okay. How about... I definitely have some sort of scrubby-ass backup point guard on this team. And you can have Shane Larkin. And you can give me this guy. Who's making $8 million for some... Like, what... Give me this guy, Jordan Murphy. Oh my, this is absolutely ridiculous. This is this is nuts. This is the dumbest thing. I've, okay, there we go. Manuel Moutier, welcome to the team. I don't know why I just did that for so long. Marcus Smart would never start over Devin Booker. Harold goes here. You, Yep, and that's good. So 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 18 minutes, 25 minutes, 34. Actually, no, you're 33. You're 34. You're 35. You're 34 as well. Nope, you're 30. There, there we go. That's the rotation. Season number two. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, DeAndre Aiden off the bench. Montrez Harrell, Marcus Smart, Emmanuel Moody, and Justice Winslow. Please tell me that wasn't a 10-man rotation. I believe it was just nine. Um, yeah, we're good. I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. Let's go win another championship. End of year number two, 70 and 12. I can live with it. Harden MVP, Anthony Edwards, Ricky the Air, Clarkson, Giannis, Porter Jr., Brad Stevens, Coach of the Year once again. So... We're flying through everybody. I'm guessing we were the best 
pretty much team in every single statistic. I mean, team's looking really solid. Maybe a few less points than last year. Uh, we can check that out right here. Points, nope. Way more, actually, and we're even better. So, Brooklyn Nets here in the first round. I believe we have them in the second round last year. I don't really think it's going to be that big of an issue, though. As we go up 2-0 on them, make it 3-0, and we should get by them in a quick sweep. The Hawks swept the Cavs. Not sure how... The Cavs are a four seed. That doesn't make... Actually, I mean, did they sign somebody or did they... Oh, okay, nope. Yeah, it's a four seed, all right. Uh, Hawks in the next round. Trey Young is obviously very, very good. John Collins as well. They signed Boogie, as you saw, but thanks for coming. We get by them in four games, and we are going to be taking on the seven seed. How are the Cavs a higher seed than the Bucks? Like, let's just go over things that make no sense. That's number one on the list right there. The Trailblazers are up 3-0 on the Thunder and are they okay so they don't blow that uh yeah it's gonna suck to play this team because they low-key sometimes beat me in this game uh yeah don't really need to comment on that one man's leg was in half um it's not trying to be disrespectful i don't want to hear the comment section why do you have three centers like it's just so unnecessary and i'm gonna wait for the comments oh zach collins can play power forward i know i know i know we're up 3-0 and we get by them in four finals mvp goes to zion so we're looking at a three-peat right now if we're being totally realistic right here we're gonna head up to staff signing for the third and final time um you're still an a i'm good there we'll get a new scout even though i don't need it but we're good so let's head up to the draft i don't believe we're gonna end up with any picks in this year's draft we do not I'm pretty content with where this team is at. Um, there's not much I need to do. I mean, the whole lineup's going to be a 90-plus overall by the end of this video. I do believe we need to re-sign Jason Tatum right now. I don't know who Jordan Murphy is, but Jason Tatum obviously is somebody that I do want to bring back. So we're just going to give him a contract, a whole lot of money for him. No other free agents. Welcome back to the team, and I will see you guys at the start of the third and final year. So third and final year, not much has changed. Kyrie Irving, Devin Booker, Jason Tatum, Zion Williamson, and DeAndre Aiden off the bench. Montrez Harrell, Marcus Smart, Emmanuel Moutier and Justice Winslow. Really excited to see how this team can do. Very high hopes. Let's go win a third championship. So uh, yeah, that happened. We went 73 and nine and Zion won MVP. So, okay, Evan Mobley, Rookie of the Year, Fault, six man on Portland now. Anthony Davis, Jamal Murray. Stevens obviously winning Coach of the Year. I do not know how Zion won the MVP, especially being on a team this good, but I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it. Uh, three 20 plus point scores, Aiden's up to a 94 overall. I think I made the right choice there. Jason Tatum, Montrez Harrell. Rebounds was eight and assists was Kyrie. This team's insane. This team is very much insane. I don't really think the Celtics suck anymore. Jesus Christ, I'm burping in the middle of videos now. Uh, but we're up 2-0, 3-0, and clean sweep, please. Thank you very much. Going to be us in the 76ers in the next round. Warriors lost. They got swept, actually. I'm not complaining about that. The fact that I haven't had to face them once in this video is... Way up, I feel blessed. 2-2 uh, with the 76ers right now. I would prefer not to lose. I'm trying to go for a three-peat. There we go. It's us and the Cavs. We will probably be taking on the Rockets. I don't really think the Trailblazers are going to make it. Uh, we're making it to the finals. That's not really the debate there. Yeah. Going to be... Uh, no. Okay. Us and the Rockets once again. Uh, we can check out their team. Come on now. Um, John Morant is so fucking good. It's disgusting. Uh, Harden, yeah. It's pretty much a... Uh, nine overall the things i would do if he was ever a free agent in this game it'd be nice uh, but we're up 2-0-3-0 and we end up okay seriously you're kind of ruining my flow right no no no, no. we ain't going to be doing this 2k there we go zion williamson finals mvp as we win in six games and end up with three peats so the celtics no longer suck uh, in this game just give it about three hours until they play or whenever the hell the next time is but we ended the video with borderline 690 overalls That'll do it for me, folks. Let me know any other video ideas down below in the comment section. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe. Almost at 20,000 subscribers. And, of course, we'll get a nice, fun 20K Q&A. And so, also, if you guys don't, go follow me on Twitter. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you like down below. Thanks so much for watching. I'll catch you guys all in the next one.